Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to troubleshoot or test your computer's power supply. Now, not only are we gonna go over three different ways on how to do that, but I'm also gonna review with you several symptoms and things that might indicate that your power supply is failing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now your computer power supply is pretty much one of the most overlooked, underrated you know, components of your computer. You really don't think about it until it starts to fail. So you know, you get your system built or even if you buy a pre-built, it's not really something that you even look at. You don't really have a reason to, as long as the system's working, everything's good. So before you start testing your computer, you wanna make sure that you know some of the symptoms and also check all of the cables. You wanna make sure that your cable is not disconnected from your computer, it's not disconnected from the wall, and that you have the actual power switch on, turned on in the right position on the power supply. Then you wanna start looking at the symptoms. So some of the symptoms might be that the computer does not turn on at all. And if it doesn't turn on and you know all of the cables are good, the power switch is good, pretty much that's a huge indicator that the power supply could be bad. One of the other huge symptoms is going to be that your computer just sporadically restarts and shuts down while you're playing a game or while you're doing anything on the computer. So if you have anything like that happen, then again, that could be a huge indicator that the power supply is bad. One of the easiest ways to test your power supply is to use some type of power supply tester that comes with the power supply. This comes with a lot of power supplies today. It's got like a built-in jumper already in the block. You can also buy power supply testers off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and link this exact one in the description below, but then it will also give you like digital reading of all of the voltages that is coming off of each of the power rails. Last but not least is I'll show you how to test your power supply using a multimeter. Now this is pretty much the classic way, tried and true, been around forever. Um, it does take you knowing a little bit about the wires on the power supply and some of the cables on the power supply and it's not as easy as one of these other options but that way you can get a little bit more of a specific reading if you need it. So before you test it, you are gonna make sure that you have your power switch on the back of the power supply turned into the off position, which is gonna be there. And then you can go ahead and connect it. If you have one of the adapters that come with your power supply, then pretty much all you have to do is connect that up to the 24 pin connector on the power supply. Now inside of that connector, there is jumper blocks already. So it will pretty much activate the power supply once the switch is turned on. From there, you turn on the switch and if you have, you know, a good power supply, you should see that the fans are spinning and you should see that, you know, you've got a, a functioning power supply. Now, if you do not happen to have one of these jumpers, then you're gonna have to use a jumper wire. Now, all I did was basically take a wire out of a LAN cable, an ethernet cable, and then cut off the ends here so that I could expose some of the some of the copper wiring and then all you're going to do if you're looking at the connector basically face on like this right here with the with the clip up top you're going to go to the third and fourth pins on the power supply connector basically on the left side exactly like this once your wire is in place all you have to do again make sure that your power supply is connected and then turn on the power switch and again if everything's good you should see that you have the fan spinning and everything is good with the power supply You can also test your power supply by using a power supply tester. Now I got this one off of Amazon for about $15. It actually powers by using the power supply, the 24 pin connector. So when you turn on the power supply switch, obviously as you guys can see here, I'll try to get it to focus. You can see that the fan is spinning here indicating that the power supply is running. However, the power supply tester itself is powered here by the 24 pin connector. Now on the side, the left side, it tests the four, six and eight pin connectors. So anything CPU or VGA or PCI Express related is tested over here. On the top, you've got a slot for a SATA port to test your SATA cables. And then on the bottom, you have an older connector here for the Molex connectors. Now on the dial, it gives you the readings of everything coming out of the 24 pin connector and then the four, six and eight pin connectors. So if I disconnect this right here, it will start beeping indicating that there is no reading coming from that connector. So if I plug that back up, it quits beeping and shows the correct voltage. Now when you're testing PCI Express, VGA you know, connectors, power connectors or CPU power connectors, you're gonna get that 12 volts and that's gonna be that reading there. The rest of these readings is all coming off of this connector. So this connector provides 12, five and 3.3 .3 volts. Now, 
if you test a SATA cable, which is right here, there are three lights over here indicating that all of those readings are correct. And that's because a SATA cable provides you with all three of those voltages. So if I connect this up here at the top, you can see that all three lights there are lit up indicating that this SATA cable or this rail is providing the right amount of power. So the first thing you're going to want to do as far as using the multimeter is get your uh, jumper block connected. Now, whether that's a wire or the actual tester that comes with the power supply, you can use that, get that set up, and then you can turn your power supply on. Now from there, you should see the fans are spinning. So that indicates that the power supply is turned on. Now, if you want to use your multimeter to measure like say voltage from your CPU power connector or your PCI express connector for your multimeter, you're going to want to make sure that you have your red probe connected to the voltage here. And then you're going to have your black probe connected to the common or the ground position. And then you're going to turn it to the voltage that measures DC, which is going to be that straight line compared to like say the, the wave line here next to the voltage, which would indicate that you're measuring AC. So the red probe is going to be on the top of the connector where the clip is. And then the black probe is going to be on the bottom of the connector. And then as you can see, because we are measuring a CPU connector, we are getting 12 volts, which is exactly what you want. Now you're pretty much going to do this with any of the other connectors. So for example, if we want to measure a PCI express connector here, as you can see, it says the VGA on the side, we will connect a, the red probe to the top and then the black probe to the bottom. And again, you can see we're getting 12 volts. If you need to test certain pins on your 24 pin connector, use your jumper wire again from pins 15, 16 or the third and fourth pin along that top row and then turn your power supply on. Now you can see here that it is activated. So let's just say for example, the 24 pin connector does 3.35 and 12 volts, just like your SATA cable. So if you need to measure and check your 24 pin connector to make sure that it is providing you the right amount of voltage per pin, you can do the exact same thing you would with your CPU or your VGA PCI Express cable. So for this example, I'm gonna have my son help me hold the cable so I can use the prongs to measure. The top right of the connector, which will be all the way over here, is going to be your ground. So if I go to this pin, and then if I go to the pin right next to it, it should be five volts. As you can see there in the camera, it's showing us five volts. Now, if I want to read, let's just say another pin that goes all the way to the other side of the connector, this should read 3.3 volts. And you can see there it's reading 3.3 volts. The only way you can check your 24 pin connector is get your jumper wire, make sure your power supply is turned on, and then go from pin to pin with your multimeter probes and measure the voltage output. All right guys, so that wraps up this video on how to test the power supply. Just remember, if you're having problems with your computer and it seems like it might be a power supply issue to check the simple things first, check all of your cables, make sure everything is connected, all of that. If all of that's good, then you can go ahead and start doing some of the things that we discussed in this video. If this video did help you out, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out my channel, helps my channel grow. And it also helps get this video out to more people like yourself that may need it. But if you have any questions, again, leave those down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll see you all next time.